Alrighty, and we're back with another game and another beer. Is this a twist off or a, I don't know, yeah, it's a twist off, thank god. There we go, and this one is a, oh boy, Shock Top Raspberry Wheat. Hmm. Not bad. You can definitely taste the raspberries. All right. <clears throat> well, they say you shouldn't drink and drive, but I've only had one beer, so we should be all right. Here's Super Hang On. Not the biggest fan of this on consoles. The, the way you want to play this game is uh, in the arcades. You definitely want to just uh, wrap your legs around a uh, plastic motorcycle and uh, sway bath back and forth. That's how that's how I like to spend my Saturday nights. All right, so let's get this started. Let's just do arcade mode. Uh, and, uh, let's go crazy. Let's do original mode. Original mode, you have to uh, buy upgrades and whatnot. Uh, it's gonna be real interesting. I will probably crash a couple times and uh, this will be over pretty quick. <laughs> so I can't afford anything right now so we're gonna go ahead and go to race and I'm going to try real hard. Let's go with uh, winning run. I'm gonna try real hard not to crash. Alright. One of the things I don't like about the console version of this is that uh, this game does a really good job, especially in this mode, of showing you the uh, consequences of uh, crashing, or you know, it gives you the it shows you the consequences basically of, of crashing at that speed because then you have to get your bike repaired and you can't race and you're not making any money. Um, it, but it, it shows you the consequences but it doesn't convey just how fast you're going. I'm going 200 miles per hour and the guy still looks like he's uh, basically just roaming around on a little power wheels around the neighborhood. Like, that doesn't look like 140 miles an hour. I've been in a Miata with a uh, turbo on it going 100 some odd miles an hour, and let me tell you, this is not what it feels like. Might wonder why, why I would say a Miata. Well, that's just the kind of car that guy likes. His name is Michael Jordan. He's a white guy. Named Michael Jordan. He's a friend of mine. Pretty cool dude. But he loves him, his Miata. I don't question it. He gives me rides in it. He gives my son rides in it. He's an alright dude. Ah, I gotta slow down! He would probably be a lot better at this game than I am. <laughs> but you're stuck with me. Oh, man. See, I wanted to get this game over with. I'm going to go a little bit out of order uh, because the other three games are really good. Uh, there's four more games, rather. Um, one of those games is Columns, which I'll probably do next. And then the the other three are super good. And I don't want to start the show with a showstopper, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Alright, slowing down. Alright. Can't take these turns going 200 miles an hour.
All right, I'm doing okay, I guess. Ugh, man. Ugh. Uh, I don't know how uh, super this game is. Yeah, like I said, it's just not as fun as in the arcade when you're actually using your body weight to shift. And Plus, the arcade version is so much faster. I mean, there are, there are Sega games. There are Genesis games that... Uh, that move faster than this. Uh, Road Rash is a great example of a uh, motorcycle game for the Genesis that is actually kind of good. I mean, this one's not bad, but it's it's just so slow. Oh, man, that's the finish line. Luckily, I did not uh, destroy my vehicle. That's right, Mia Ferrer... Ferrerg? I don't know. I can't read it. Uh, you lost. Let's see. Let's see what kind of parts we can get here. Better change the frame, of course, because I crashed a couple times. Yeah. Lame. Whew. Um, go ahead and race again. Mm. Yep. I mean, it, you know, it's not bad. It's kind of uh, peaceful. Just nice, nice slow jaunt down a beach. Palm trees, beautiful blue skies. Yep, just kind of cruising, man. Rolling around. Mm. Chirping them tires. Yep. Not another motorcycle in sight. How's it going, bud? That's another twelve thousand for a new frame. Mm. Uh, barely miss that uh, toucan sign. Oh. I will do it your way. I will take it nice and slow and stop trying to swill my beer. Here we go. Right around that corner. Oh.
Uh, right around that corner. It's looking pretty good. I mean, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that you have to sit through this person at home watching this. I really am. I mean, this is just probably the weakest game on this whole cart. I don't know. Maybe, you know, there might be somebody out there who's just like a, a really uh, hardcore, super hang-on fan who's just like, like, No, you idiot! It's the best game ever! There's usually at least one person in the world. And, you know, this game's not that bad. It's just that it's slow and boring. and uh, It's a simulation. So, honestly, I probably should have gone to the uh, arcade mode. I mean, I did pretty good this race. Probably get another 12,000. Maybe I'll invest in a uh, mechanic. Which is near as I can tell, the mechanic does nothing. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what mechanics do. You can either get a girl mechanic or a dude mechanic. That guy is worth a lot of money, apparently. I bet he fixes your bike up real good. And Tom Jones, well, let me tell you about him. Sonia Ilvich. She's Russian. She costs a lot of money. I bet she's gonna put some kind of Soviet tech on your on your bike. I bet she uh, she knows her uh, she knows some secrets. I bet she got laid off uh, when Russia, uh, you know, when the Soviet Union uh, went uh, went under basically, and uh, all those countries broke up. Uh, I bet she lost her job as a uh, nuclear scientist or or whatever, and and now she works on uh, on motorcycles. So. So that, that's her deal. Then we got uh, Mickey Way. I mean, you know, he's he's like a card shark in uh, in Vegas, which is why he's so expensive. He doesn't know the first thing about motorcycles. He just likes to uh, bilk people for money. Uh, and he's the last one. I mean, you know, you pay, you get what you pay for on him, I guess. Um, as for these other guys, <sighs> you can see I've uh, I've got a pharmacy for a uh, sponsor down there. It only pays me uh, twelve thousand per race if I win, six thousand if I lose. So he's a real jerk. How do I get out of here? There we go. Let's see how I'm doing on parts. Of course I need a new frame because the frame of these bikes is apparently made out of uh, whatever it is crackers are made of. It's made out of uh, crackers. It's made out of Pocky. They just pasted together some Pocky. Pocky sticks. Delicious uh, Japanese cookie? Is it a cookie? Is Pocky a cookie? These are the things that I think about when I'm drinking and playing Super Hang On. These are the strange thoughts that keep me up at night. Whew, I bet that broke my frame. Nope. Ah, uh, uh, turn. 
tried to drink from my bottle, and then I got to turn. Going around the corner. There we go. Another corner. And this is kind of like... Oh! Man, one thing about Sega, nobody else uh, seems to want to do this. I don't know. It's just... Sega always has the most gorgeous skies in their games. Like, it's one thing about the Dreamcast. Man, you play any Dreamcast game, the sky is the brightest blue. Just gorgeous, beautiful blue skies in every single game. Haha. <laughs> it's got the most beautiful beautifulest, bluest skies. They always have their games set in some kind of beach setting with palm trees. Like the first level of Sonic Adventure. With a whale. That's a big ass whale, man. I always thought you could catch that whale as Big the Cat. But I could never stand those Big the Cat levels long enough to find out if that were true. Yep, on those Big the Cat levels in Sonic Adventure, I would go straight to that damn frog. I would catch him, and I would move on with my goddamn life, because who has time to play a lackluster fishing minigame? in a Sonic game. Like, why did they think that was a good idea? Oh. Okay, my muffler fell off. Uh, <laughs> well, that's fine. I mean, I can still race without a muffler. I just annoy people in office buildings as I drive by. And, you know, I want people to hear me. I mean, being on a motorcycle driving down the road, you want vehicles to hear you, you know, so that, that's why, that's why those bikers have such loud bikes, at least that's what they tell you, they have those loud, obnoxious bikes so that uh, you hear them while they're getting into your blind spot. needs mufflers anyways. Screw mufflers, I say. What do mufflers do? They, like, muffle the sound of the engine, right? Eh. Let people complain. They're supposed to be up cooking breakfast, you know? It's only in the morning that, that they complain about the noise. The whistles go woo woo. Okay, now now I'm just bored. I mean, let, let's see what we've talked about so far. We've talked about the uh, fall of the Soviet Union, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and uh, a video from the early days of uh, internet videos. It's probably one of the first memes. Uh, the whistles go woo woo. Yep, you should look that up if you haven't seen it. Okay, we got to the goal line. And it looks like, well, no, not yet. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Not quite done with this beer. Ugh. Kotaru, Kotaro Kinta, Kita, yeah, Ko, Kotaro Kita, is his name, and fixing my goddamn bike should be his game. 
but I still haven't figured out what exactly uh, those mechanics do. And uh, let's go up into parts. Let's see. How much does a frame is close to the limit? <laughs> uh, be careful of the engine. The brake is close to its limit. Muffler. Said the muffler fell off. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I think I'm going to do one more race and then call it good. I mean, then you will have seen everything that this uh, game has to offer, pretty much. I'm going to call it. We're going to end it off with a hard road because it has been a hard road it's been a long road getting from there to here I can see my dreams come alive at last I can touch the sky And I'm not gonna hold him down, oh no. No, I'm not gonna hold him down. Cause I've got faith of the heart. No one's gonna bend or break me. I can finish this beer home. Oh. Mm. Yep. That's it for Super Hang On. Join me next for, uh, okay, coming up next is another game, probably Columns, and another beer. So, uh, see you guys in a bit.